What's up, Knuckle Up? So here we go again. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover something out of Championship Street Fighting by a cat named Ned Beaumont. The blow that we're gonna go ahead and break down out of his book is something called the Chopper Blow. We're gonna, mo we're gonna work multiple variations from Ned Beaumont's book. Then I'm gonna take you back in time to the 1700s with a cat named Dan Mendoza. And I'm gonna show you the difference between a modern chopping blow and the actual old school back knuckle chopping blow. Here we go. So once again, I got my homeboy Brad working with me today. So he's just gonna stand here in a static position. Right now, Brad's got a bad back, so I'm not really trying to mess with him. But also understanding through all of the footage that I posted, you now realize that people do stand just like this in a fight. They stand with their fucking hands down, which is gonna allow you to do something. Also understand that these are just demonstrations from a book. I'm just taking chapters out of a book and pretty much mimicking or replaying them so that people can get, I guess, the movements down. It did take me a long time to be able to, I guess, be able to mimic from reading books. I've been doing this for years now. So once again, here we go. A chopper blow, pretty much as it says in the book, is as if you were hitting the table like a hammer. So once again, I'm hitting the old hammer fist blow with the soft part of my hand. So right where the pinky is. So the way he says it, you want to use your body weight and you want to use the swinging motion of the elbow. So once again, if I was in the guard and he was standing here, even if I wasn't in the guard and I was standing here, I'm just going to drop my body weight and use the elbow to come right here at that chin. Whether it's with my right or with my left, I'm looking for massive hip rotation, body drop, and the swing of the elbow. So as you can see, that's one way. The second way that this would go ahead and work is, is if I get a boxer who crouches down and comes at me more this way, what I'm gonna use from here is that chopper blow coming to the back of the head. Again, if he's here, I may have to chop with this hand to chop with that hand here. Again, taking this from the book, the third version that he goes over is using a shovel hook. So again, if he throws a blow here and I can duck, and instead of coming here, with that shovel hook, I'm gonna flip it over here. So now, once again, I'm still hitting with that with that hammer fist, which allows me still to come up down his center line. The next one we're gonna cover is once again, if I can get him in this position here, and now adding a strike with that hammer fist, I'm looking to break his collarbone. Now, how would I do that? If we were standing here and he was here, I would throw a jab, pretty much a blinding jab coming out this way, and once again, boom, going as much power as I can right on that collarbone with that hammer fist. Again, one, dropping, and hitting that collarbone. Now basically, those are the ways that you would use a hammer fist blow or a chopper blow working out of Ned Beaumont's book. Now we go back to the old school stuff, so Dan Mendoza. So the only reason he was able to use this blow was his guard, his guard being up. As he says in the book, in order for the chopper blow to work, you have to extend the elbow past the head and throw down the back knuckle here in a semicircle, understanding that if I hit his nose, I'm gonna get him to tear up. If I can cut his eye, I'm gonna get blood into his eye, which is gonna momentarily blind him because of the blink. So again, from this position, the best way to work this is, is through a round blow, as they used to say, or a hook, as we say now. So pretty much the whole uh, cover crash counter is exactly how I would use this. So if I was in my guard here and he threw a round go one, elbow over the head, boom, right on the nose, which now allows for a punch right to the throat. So again, as you can see, if I'm here and he throws a go one, two, three. Now the other way, more of a modern version, would be more of that cross arm guard. If he threw a straight, now once again, you gotta be pretty good to be able to catch this one. But if I'm here and he throws that, boom, and I come here, boom. Once again, I can still hit, and I'm still using the elbow high in the semicircle of one, two, three, four. So again, you can see how you can go ahead and take the old school chopper blow and kind of, uh, Put it in with your, I guess your curriculum that you're running now. As you can see, we were able to use it at the face, at the body, the back of the neck, the collarbone, and then when we took it back to the old school, up 
down, ropes, cross guard, one, two, three, four. Again, let me know what you think.